Welcome to Teach Me Interactive, and today we're doing an unboxing video on the Vortex Razer HD AMG model. So that's not to be confused with the regular HD, this is the AMG model. And this particular model is an MOA EBR7B reticle scope. As we can see, just looking at this box, I noticed straight away a couple of really important things. The packaging seems a little bit nicer than the regular packaging we get with uh, Vortex. Feels sort of higher end. And I notice it says here, are made in the USA, which is uh, great. Obviously it has the regular unlimited warranty. Let's take a little look inside this fancy box. This is the uh, highest end rifle scope that Vortex makes and so you probably expect it to be the nicest in terms of presentation which I would say it is from the ones that we've looked at. And as you can see from the box it pretty much comes with everything you could possibly need uh, very nicely laid out. Uh, we have a sunshade, we have uh, a multi-tool here we have a lens cloth, and obviously we have uh, the objective lens covers for the front and rear, and the scope itself. As soon as you take it out of the box, it feels great in a, in a sort of matte black finish, but the, the thing I notice the most quickly is how light it seems to be, considering its size. It is pretty much the same size as the regular uh, Vortex uh, HD model, the Razer HD Gen 2. I think they're about the same length, pretty much. And while we're talking about that, let's just take a little, uh, peek at how long this thing is. So, just a little bit under 15 inches long, pretty much exactly the same as the HD Gen 2. However, uh, this clearly has a smaller objective lens. This is a 50, not a 56. And it has a smaller tube here. 30, not 34. But otherwise it feels and sounds just like it's, it's a slightly cheaper brother. It's about a thousand dollars more than the Gen 2. But it, but it feels slick and smooth. The, Detents on the turrets feel perfect as you'd expect for a scope of this type. And I think that just looking at it, it has very similar characteristics in terms of performance to a Gen 2 in the sense that it's 6 by 24 by 50 as opposed to 4.5 by 27 by 56. So magnification is pretty on par. Clearly the big differentiator in terms of price is this is pretty much built in the USA. And if you build something here, it's obviously going to cost more than building it somewhere cheaper. Uh, but it looks like in a smaller package, you get a very similar performance to other products in their line, uh, which is very impressive. Uh, I imagine, having read about this, that its primary goal when they were looking at the design was to make something that's working for tactical shooters as well as long-range hunters. This is a much, much lighter scope than most of the other scopes in this magnification range. And so it must have taken a lot of time and effort to create a scope like this with the similar specs and a way less weight. I think this is like 28 ounces. Let's just check. There you go. It's 28 and three quarter ounces, which is way less than, for example, any of its major competitors, uh, other than perhaps the new NX8, which has come out from Night Force. Of course, there'll be other lighter scopes. And in fact, there are lighter scopes in the line from Vortex. 
but compared to 48 ounces for the Gen 2, which is sort of its nearest brother in the in the Vortex line, it is is almost well a, over a third lighter. And as a hunter, I would say this is uh, its primary objective if you want the perfect scope to hunt and to shoot uh, steel or paper with. This, I think, is that was their objective when they built this. So it is it is a beautifully built scope it feels light clearly the theory with a smaller 30 mil tube is that it will let in less light but apparently that's uh, not so according to vortex and they believe it has similar performance characteristics to other scopes in their line and uh, just from the look and the feel of it i'm, I'm pretty sure the type of engineering effort they put in here is uh, going to produce a fantastic uh, scope in, in the field for anybody wanting to do long range hunting or shooting. So that's a quick unboxing. Pretty much everything you want out of the out of the box. It's clearly the top product in the rifle scope range from Vortex. Has every feature you could want. Seems to have a great magnification uh, in a very light package. I think that's its primary benefit to anybody other than the fact that it is uh, very much focused on a USA orientated manufacturing process and therefore the quality and everything else in it's going to be top notch. As you would expect for such an expensive scope it has lots of extra features that you would want to use in long range. Of course it has a zero stop, has locking turrets, integrated locking illumination dial, and obviously a first or front focal plane reticle in two choices, uh, mill and MOA options. So that, once again, is the Vortex HD AMG 6x24x50 first or front focal plane long range rifle scope.